the eye, our window to the world. It's an organ that detects light and sends signals to the brain, allowing us to see. Light enters through the cornea, passes the pupil, and is focused by the lens onto the retina. Here, light-sensitive cells convert it into signals sent to the brain via the optic nerve. The optic nerve is like a high-speed cable connecting your eye to your brain. It carries electrical signals from the retina, where light is converted into messages, to the brain, which processes them into images. The optic chiasm is a crossroads in your brain where the optic nerves from both eyes meet and partially cross. The optical center is the point in a lens where light rays pass without bending. It's the lens's focal heart, ensuring clarity and focus. From the dazzling lights of a cityscape to the breathtaking beauty of nature, our eyes allow us to witness and appreciate the world in all its glory. The eye is more than just an organ. It's our gateway to discovery, connection, and understanding. So, the next time you look around, take a moment to appreciate the wonder of sight. Extraocular muscles are six tiny muscles around the eye that control its movement. They allow us to look up, down, side to side, and even rotate our eyes. These muscles work together with incredible precision, enabling smooth and accurate eye movements. The vitreous chamber is the largest part of the eye, located between the lens and the retina. It's filled with a clear, gel-like substance called the vitreous humor. The scara is the tough, white outer layer of the eye. It protects the inner structures and gives the eye its shape. The cornea is the clear, dome-shaped surface at the front of the eye. It helps focus light as it enters the eye. The choroid is a layer of blood vessels between the retina and scara. It provides nutrients and oxygen to the retina. The iris is the colored part of your eye. It controls the size of the pupil, regulating how much light enters the eye. The ciliary body is a ring of muscles behind the iris. It controls the shape of the lens for focusing on objects at different distances. The pupil is the black circular opening in the center of the iris. It controls how much light enters the eye. The lens is a clear, flexible structure behind the iris. It helps focus light onto the retina for clear vision. The ciliary zonules are tiny fibers that connect the lens to the ciliary body. The anterior chamber is the fluid-filled space between the cornea and the iris. It contains aqueous humor, which nourishes the eye and helps maintain its shape. The retina is the light-sensitive layer at the back of the eye. It captures light and sends visual information to the brain. The macula lutea is a small, yellow spot in the center of the retina. It is responsible for central vision and helps us see fine details clearly. The blind spot, or scotoma, is a small area on the retina where the optic nerve connects to the eye. The optic nerve is a bundle of nerve fibers that carries visual information from the retina to the cone cells are specialized photoreceptors in the retina that detect light and color. Rod cells are photoreceptors in the retina that help us see in low light. Bipolar cells are part of the retina structure, acting as a bridge between photoreceptors and ganglion cells. Ganglion cells are nerve cells in the retina that transmit visual information to the brain. They receive signals from bipolar cells and send them via the optic nerve to the brain for processing. Ganglion cells, the final step in sending vision data to your brain. Green-sensitive cone cells are specialized cells in the retina that help us detect green light. Synaptic vesicles are tiny sacs in nerve cells that store and release chemicals called neurotransmitters. Rod cells are photoreceptors in the retina that help us see in low light. They are crucial for night vision but do not detect color.